What's going on guys? In today's video we're going to be learning how to add a vintage, grunge, rusty sign. I don't know. I guess there's a lot of descriptions you can use for it, but that texture to pretty much anything you want in Adobe Illustrator. So this effect is pretty simple. All you really got to do is download the effect pack that I've left in the description from FreePick. Uh, it's like a free picture website. If you do end up using this texture pack below, make sure that you credit the creator of the texture pack. They created these textures for anybody to use for free, so all they ask is that you credit them uh, in any of the work that you use it for. In the future, I'm probably going to be making a video about how to create your own textures, so if you're interested in that, definitely leave a comment below and ask for that video. So with all that out of the way, let's jump into it. So you can see I've already applied the texture to this image, but I'm gonna remove this so that uh, I can walk you guys through step by step. This is the Adirondack 46er logo. You get one of these patches if you complete all of the Adirondack 46er mountains, which are located in upstate New York. This is like one of my favorite mountain ranges and I've spent a ton of time, uh, you know, hiking through the Adirondack. So I really like this logo. Uh, and I ended up just like kind of recreating it so I could use it as a demonstration piece for this tutorial. So the first thing that you're going to want to do once you download that file pack is actually open it up in Adobe Illustrator. So you can see I have that open here. Like I said, you can totally create any of your own textures and I'll probably be making a video on that in the future but these four will work great for a demonstration. So once you have the logo created that you want to add the texture to and the texture pack downloaded and opened in Illustrator, all you have to do is copy one of the textures. So we're going to use this one in the bottom right corner. Just click on the texture and hit Command C. So now we're going to head back over to the logo document and to add this texture effect, all you have to do is open your transparency window. If you don't have it over here on the right under transparency, what you can do is come up to window and then down to transparency, which will open the transparency window. So the first thing you're going to need to do is select the logo that you want to apply the texture to. Now you'll see over in the transparency menu that we have the logo on the left side and an empty box on the right. So to add the texture, you're going to need to double click on the empty box, which is going to make the logo disappear. But no need to worry about that. All you need to do is uncheck the clip box. So once you have that unchecked, what you can do is select this box over here on the right and hit command V, which will paste the texture from uh, the previous document and then just stretch it so that it covers your whole logo. Since these are all vector files it doesn't really matter how big you stretch them it's kind of totally up to you uh, and you just got to play with it until you get the look you're going for. So I'm gonna keep stretching this out so we don't cover up too much of it because there's some pretty big uh, pretty big cover-up spots and that looks pretty decent there. This isn't like perfect, I might play with it a little bit more if this were one of the designs I was actually creating, but this is just for demonstration purposes. Now once you have your texture placed, there's a few things you can do with it. So my recommendation would be to keep the blend mode to normal, but there is a bunch of other ones that you can play with uh, if you choose to use those. So the next thing that you can do is adjust the opacity. And this is how you can kind of tone up or tone down the texture effect. So say you wanted this to be a little bit more subtle, you could tone it down to maybe a 60%. Uh, you know, you can play with it and kind of get whatever look you want uh, and make the effect however drastic you really want it to be. So for this tutorial, I'm just going to leave it at 100 because I do like that look and I think that it kind of looks like it was something that was painted on like an old metal sign and ended up chipping off and revealing the background. Um, but obviously, depending on what you're going for, you can totally change that and do whatever you'd like with it. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this tutorial, guys. Uh, it's really simple and a really cool way to add interesting effects to your logo. When you're displaying things digitally, a lot of times they end up kind of losing that real world texture and adding something in can really make your designs come to life on the screen. If it's something that you're not gonna be printing, this is a great way to kind of spice up your designs and give it a real world feel. So that's it for me guys. If you enjoyed this video, it would be awesome if you would leave a like below or a comment if you have any questions. And if you're interested in more content like this, it would be much appreciated if you would subscribe to the channel and possibly even turn on notification bells to get notified when I make more videos. All right guys, that's it for me and I'll catch you in the next one. Later.